Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel, part two on the the SIP Speedo. Um, sorry it's been a long time since the last video but oh what a performance to get this in. What I've done in a nutshell is I've put the SIP wiring loom into the existing Lambretta loom, come all the way back down the frame so I've had the leg shields off, mud guard, horn casting carburetors off probably need a light in there so you can see the carburetors off and get that to stand um, air boxes out I've had the battery off and that's how the the wiring looks at the moment so if I can show you um, my conversion <clears throat> excuse me my conversion was to put the solid state rectifier in there that beast there um, original so I'm running all um, DC system and I've got the battery plus and minus um, through the, the fuse so it's more akin to original again don't know if you can see that under there it's got the fuse where my finger is now 8 amp fuse <clears throat> under here is where I've put the the black box one of the problems I had with this system was trying to figure out where the black box could go um, what SIP don't tell you is um, you need a switch when you've got a battery so what I've had to do is put a switch up there instead of the kill it would have been a button on there um, now I put a, a switch in and if I can just show if I turn it on right I thought I had the fuse out but I didn't so if I put it on to two it just takes a while to come up I don't know if people saw that or not uh, <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing with this switch is putting it on there and hiding the wiring underneath I don't want to drill no holes um, but you probably agree it does look nice and bright and it's dead easy to read um, I'm keeping the um, the drive for it and if I can show you there that's gonna go on the spark plug to give me the temperature reading of the cylinder um, so I've got all the wiring in basically all hidden apart from where you see at the back these black um, unfortunately I haven't got any more grey at the moment but um, probably somewhere in the future I will um, maybe even add a, the uh, fuel gauge to it um, I'm thinking about doing some engine work next year or this year to it I keep thinking we're 21 when we're 22 um, you know no problem at all is there no dimming lights or anything so um i will be going through on on part three um explaining what what's what and you see you need to turn it twice to get it to turn on it takes a while to reboot no it's too quick this is if you look at it what it's doing there flashing that's only because it won't give it enough time to um for the black box to die off um also as well on the loom itself you can't cut into the loom and put the switch up here the way i've done it it's got to be where the black box is or the black box will just keep taking power out of the um the battery so hopefully that will come up now i've given it enough time there you go so that flashing is just is not enough time from switch off to switching on again probably come back up call me a liar now there you go but that's what I've found with messing around with the battery and what have you so I'm going to end this brief video here um, I'll be adding a load of pictures of um, what I've been doing to it but it's it's really one of them where it's 10 times involved in what you think it's going to be um, you could have just run the, the wiring loom beside the other loom. Um, that's not me. Um, I like to have every, everything as close to original as possible. 
and um, like I say we'll be putting stuff back on I'll, I'll when I pull this up the handlebar top and I'll get this switch on um, you know just to show everybody where, what's what and and it working as well and then we'll go through all the menus what the menus do this is a version 2 speedo and to be honest with you I'm going to have to play with it myself because the menus don't seem to mean a lot um, the only one and it's, it doesn't seem I'm so used to the trail tech is what I'm trying to say on my PX that this one is hard to set up I've got to measure the wheel yet and stuff like that and put all them uh, measurements in I think it was 1395 millimeter on my px that there are all sort of measurements like that we haven't got the fuel gauge in here so we don't have to worry about that um if it comes up again i have been playing with it and you can see that it's it should come up with mile per hour the time um three degrees and it's in imperial for us so it should go to uh there you go it's 22 minutes past four i set the clock on it and it keeps good time that's exactly correct so um i was playing around with the menus and to be honest with you try and hold it a bit more steadier a lot of the menus are abbreviations and the manual is mark nigh on crap but in a nutshell before i switch off if you're thinking of having one of these speedos on um and the black box doesn't fit in here which it does on a GP. Um, just bear bear in mind on any series two or series one, you're going to have to go and put a switch on, or it won't work. <clears throat> They're saying with the uh, the AC versions, like what I'd have to put on my GP, that um, because the everything is worked for, via the stator plate, so you'd have a a regulator giving you DC. Um, it, it would go off when the, when you turn the engine off so you wouldn't need this switch but um, you definitely need it on a series 2 so that's taken some of the originality out of it um, like I say with the switch there that's the only place really I was thought about putting it everywhere <clears throat> I don't want to drill holes in a perfectly usable good um, set of um, handlebars you know 60 odd years old or 60 years this year and uh, I don't want to drill holes where I don't need to so hence the putting the wiring all in the loom but you know I'm quite capable of doing all the wiring it's just it's been an absolute nightmare and the weather's not been too good so taking off the leg shields taking off the rear runners taking off the mud guard horn casting you know doing all the wiring inside the loom then re-putting all the stuff back on again and I haven't got after stuff back on yet so the the brake switch and and what have you still got to go back on it again there's a couple of chips in the paint which pissed me off but that's life um you know it is life in it but uh yeah the next the next video part three will be everything all nicely buttoned up i'll i'll do a video on that what i'm um doing hiding it all and i might um, be changing the carburetor to a 22 mil yet I've got to decide I've got a brand new Scootopia one I've also got a kit as well and I've got a 42 mil I've got an engine that I built in a previous um, series um, which I might be using in this I don't know yet it's it's okay when it gets there and it you know you've got to remember it's a 60 year old bike it does it does about 55 I would say 55 56 something like that which is a tad slow when you get on an open road it's fine for the town so that's for another day anyway so thanks for all the new subscribers i do appreciate it and hopefully the next couple of videos on this won't be as long um i'm hoping that you know we can start churning out some more videos keep people interested and um as i say keep watching take care look after everybody look after yourselves till the next one bye for now